is our GUI. Right. That plots the points. Two things that I can account for that might happen. Then the points get moved over into an SD card that is placed here. Then we will place this in autonomous mode and we'll plot the points that we had on the GUI. This could be a super long video. <laughs> well, dude, this is so much more pressure than we normally get. Is it? Yeah. Definitely on the racer. What's the mega scales for the marker? 0.25 or so. We typically point it's, it's only, yeah, it's only 0.05 over. You can bring it down a notch. Pick up. I'll on wait till the video is over so you have a nice one. Well, this is testing on it later. Many YouTubes. I'm going to let these sit here next to the marker. Yeah, this thing eats up markers pretty fast. We've been going through them. Do that really? The ace is correct, dude. You can even wait for it to write in case you want to make sure it's fun. Are you in my safety class? Okay, got it. I just keep doing that. Got to meet you. We've all been in there at one point. Yeah, I know, but he's in it now. He is, yeah. And he's the one, yeah, I can see people with long names. I had to move them. She met you again. She always does that. You know, watch the motors over. move. Motors are both stationary, permanently mounted. No motors are ever mounted on the gantry. We should have had tape so you can see the motors turn. We're trying to steal everybody's attention. Coming back to home. The outline black is our uh, writing space. Here's our control panel. We have our breaker. We have 24 volt power DC, 12 volt power DC, distribution blocks, motor drivers for the two motors, an Arduino, which is our 12 volt accessory. Then we have a solid state relay that runs 24 volts that powers both of our solenoids. And here's our poster. And then I'm going to zoom in on the grand total of this thing. It's expensive.